All new at 11 tonight, Mecklenburg County celebrated Hispanic Heritage Month with a proclamation. The proclamation was presented during tonight's meeting at the Government Center. That's where Erica Lunsford joins us now live. Erica, we know the proclamation was a happy moment, but you join us with more that's being done to help the Latino community. Siobhan, researchers with the Camino Research Institute have been digging deeper into the strengths and needs of the Latino community. Tonight, I spoke with them about their report and how they hope it can help make improvements. On behalf of the Latino Hispanic business community, I would like to thank you for this acknowledgement. A moment and a culture to be celebrated. As Mecklenburg County highlighted Hispanic Heritage Month by presenting a proclamation. I love my culture. I love my people. For several members of the Charlotte Latino community, the proclamation means so much more. It feels empowered just to see that the county is giving us some type of proclamation to show that Hispanic Heritage Month is important to them and that we as Latinos are important to them. They want to shine light on us and everything we do. Also working to shine a light on the Latino community, Lennon Caro, a lead researcher at the Camino Research Institute has conducted research on the strengths and needs of the Hispanic population in the area. We were asking a little bit about everything, about access to health care services, access to uh, education, access to employment, access to even a bank account. Carl says the data was collected from 458 participants in Charlotte in hopes of creating concrete data for the betterment of the Latino community. So we're finding that, you know, access to health care services seems to be the top of minds of the people that are taking our um, um, our survey assessment. Caro says the Institute wants to share this data with organizations so that they will be able to better apply for grants and proper funding to help the community. This is something Cruz agrees is essential as well when it comes to continuing to propel the Latino community. So, I mean, I think that just having resources for the Latino community, being able to shine light on all these amazing leaders out here, we already have the ball rolling, so just allowing us to keep helping. The Camino Research Institute tells me they are also hoping to one day conduct research statewide, rather, and they hope, are hoping that that can help everyone, not just here. They said mainly they are focusing on research on the western part of North Carolina, but again, they hope to one day do it statewide. As for this report, we have a link to it on our website under the story on WBTV.com. Reporting from Uptown, Erica Lunsford, WBTV, on your side. That proclamation means so much, I'm sure. Erica, thank you.